Hello guys and welcome to my new tutorial of uh, creating Pokemon Ball 3D Studio Max 2016. I'm using V-Ray Lite here. First we create a ball. Uh, after that we convert it into editable pulley. Uh, we do a loop, then we chamfer. Copy this. I press shift, create a copy using the chamfer tool here. And go right here again. And we will make a copy. You can here. select those faces by the ring, delete it. Now, how are we going to uh, create the opening? This one here. The way you're going to create it is by taking a cylinder. and uh, rotate it 90 degree let's see exactly it's 90 degree here okay that's 90 degree here now i'm gonna press alt a and align it to the center here get here okay let's scale it a little bit here that's good. Now I'm going to copy this. I'm going to use it later. Copy. Now I'm going to go to compound object here. Go to bowlin and just use this. Okay, now let's convert that into editable poly again. And you see the piece is really is good. But we need to do some cleaning here. So press backspace and remove it also here. <coughs> okay. Uh, got this pieces here. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna use it. And let's just bring it to the top here. Like this. Also those here. And those. Don't need it. I'll bring this down here. A little bit. Okay, now we're going to use the shell. That's good. Get the shell like this here. I'm going to use three sub steps here. Then let's use the mesh smooth. You can find it right here. Okay. Right now it's not that uh, circle. So let's fix it. here let's convert it into editable pulley delete the face now we insert okay bam like this here delete this one and let's just chill it it like this <sighs> 
Let's bring that connect and chamfer. Okay, now let's go to Mesh Smooth. Yeah, let's bring this inside here. it, align it, Okay, I'm not very happy with the uh, with the shape of the ball here. So let's see what is really going on here. I guess this piece here. Oops. Oh no, we find the problem. See if there is a problem here. So to fix this, select the vertices here and go to weld. Make sure you're not welding any other pieces here. And yeah, that's much better. So I'm going to use weld here. Okay. Weld. Yeah. And now we can play with this, with the edge of course, like so. Now let's do the lighting. Before that, let's uh, go to standard here. Let's add a plan. Okay guys, uh, now we want to give it a material, and press M, go to material here, so it's a very material, okay, this material is for the floor, you can name it floor, and then I can press shift, press shift, how many material we need, we still don't know, this is going to be the red, One is white, one is red, so you need white. Okay, this is going to be the white. Okay, now we need the black. Of course, this is going to be the black here. Yeah, that's 
pretty much what we need. Now how we can arrange that by pressing this. Now let's arrange this bottom here, which is name layout all horizontally. So the white will be white and the red will be red. And this is the floor. It doesn't matter what material I'm using for the floor right now. So let's start by getting the inside here. Then I want to go to polygon here. Okay, and then I want to use the white. Let's go back here. And for those one here. the white also the white let's make sure okay that's good now let's make a test render right now so I'm gonna go to render setup here render setup from here I'm gonna add an environment and I'm going to use progressive, we're going to use it adaptive. And I'm start with 10 right now. I'm going to go to the enable GI, get advanced. I'm use uh, root, no, use radiance map with light cache. Right now it's very high, so it's uh, very low and the light cache is uh, 1000 which is suitable for me and uh, I will fix the color mapping and we'll use an exponential and uh, I'm gonna make sure okay the gamma is 2.2 that's good. That's the expert uh, mode. You can go through it default. It's up to you. Now let's do render. Okay. This is a render at the start here. But uh, right now I'm not going to use the environment. So close that. Okay, close the environment. We don't need it. Now if you render, so you don't see anything, it's black, completely black because we don't have light. So I'm going to go to view real light, I'm going to choose a view real light here, standard view real light. Let's put that. And the default setting is 30, so I want to make it 5 as a start. And the option, I don't want it to be visible. Let's start rendering. Now you see we don't have reflection with the material. And to do this, I'm going to press M. Now let's go to the red for a start. Let's give it some reflection. And our reflection will be point uh, 9 as a start. And uh, I'm going to use the Fresnel. Let's use it like. 40. Let's render. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same with the white color here also. Get some reflection. And I can pop nine with the setting of. 40. Surrender. Okay. Let's get that the ball here exactly. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert that to a poly. 
Press Shift. That's just like Light Studio. Let's jump for this. It looks good. And we can set that to smooth. Where's the smooth? can scale it. Can use the safe frame here. That's better. And remove the okay now we need much more lights. Okay. Let's put another light here. Make it instance here. So, okay. for the floor, I'm going to give it some reflection. Let's see now. Right now, what you're seeing is the light. So if you want to fix this to be much more realistic, you can go to the floor here and make the Galoshians 6 of your render. You can even bump that up here. Make this like 0.7. as much light you want use this copy here make that 5, make it 2 and just scale the instance here you could use an HDR map but I just want to show you the default light the setting of the default light how you can use it. See here the reflection of the light. That was uh, our tutorial, making a Pokemon ball, and uh, we will do uh, modeling uh, creatures and texturing 3D Studio Max later on. So please subscribe to my channel and uh, see you in another tutorial.